Our first contender tonight is Chris Slowly. He's a journalist from London and his specialist subject, The Simpsons. Next, Tim Kenny, a freight forwarder from Suffolk. He's answering questions on venomous snakes. Charlie Hasted is a student from London, answering questions on Sherlock Holmes. And Alfred Williams is an assistant curator from Hull. His subject, Alfred the Great. And welcome to Mastermind with me, John Humphreys. Four contenders, each hoping that they will be the one. The one who goes through to the semi-finals, and then the grand final, and then a place in the quizzing history books as Mastermind champion. Only two obstacles lie in their way. Two minutes of questions on their specialist subject. Two and a half minutes on general knowledge. So, let's ask our first hopeful to join us, please. And your name is? Chris Slowly. Your occupation? Journalist. And your chosen subject? The Simpsons. The Simpsons. In two minutes, starting now. Who buys Bart's soul in the form of a piece of paper with Bart Simpson's soul written on it for five dollars? Bart eventually recovers it when Lisa buys it back from the comic book store. Millhouse. Yep. What title has been used for The Simpsons' Halloween episodes since season two? Treehouse of Horror. Yep. Homer helps Apu to study for the American citizenship test in Much Apu About Nothing. What does he say the 13 stripes on the American flag are for? Uh, pass. What is the name of Marge's geeky former boyfriend who greets her at the class of 1974 high school reunion by saying, Have you heard? I'm stinking rich. Artie Fitz? No. Ziff. In the Cartridge family, what product does Pele endorse on the field before the Continental Soccer Association match between Mexico and Portugal in Springfield? Orange juice. Wax paper. Who provides the guest voice for the flower seller, Renee? She says she is dating the bartender, Mo, because she likes his insecure, sweaty charm. Helen Hunt. Yes. In Homer's Enemy, what position at the nuclear power plant does Mr Burns say he wants to offer to Frank Grimes? He then changes his mind and gives it to a dog that catches his eye. Vice President? Executive Vice President. Which singer does Homer mistake for a cleaning lady when she's in Miami to perform the halftime show at the Super Bowl in Sunday Cruddy Sunday? Celine Dion. Dolly Parton. In There's No Disgrace Like Home, what word does Homer use to describe the all-seeing nature of God when he is saying grace? Pass. What is the name of the shop owned by the Flanders family that is looted after their house is destroyed by Hurricane Barbara? Leftorium? Yep. In the episode Old Money, when Abe Simpson's new love, Beatrice Simmons, asks him to tell her about himself, he replies, widower, one son, one... what? Pass. Lisa investigates electoral fraud after the election of Sideshow Bob as the mayor of Springfield. What's the name of her dead pet cat that she finds on the list of voters? Snowball. Yeah. Which alien is revealed to be Maggie's true father in the story Starship Poopers in Treehouse of Horror 9? Kang. Kang. After Marge reveals her fear of flying in season six, she says that everybody has a fear of something. What does she say Homer is afraid of? Sock puppets. Sock puppets is exactly right. You had uh, three passes. What he said was, widower, one son, one kidney. Working kidney. <laughs> In There's No Disgrace Like Home, Homer describes the all-seeing nature of God omnivorous. <laughs> and, and he helps a poo to study for the American citizenship test. He says the 13 stripes on the American flag are for good luck. <laughs> Yeah, great stuff. Chris, you had those three passes. You've scored seven points. <laughs> and our next contender, please. And your name is... Tim Kenny. Your occupation? Freight forwarder. And your chosen subject? Venomous snakes of the world. In two minutes, here we go. Which snake found in central Australia has the most toxic venom of any known snake? It's also known as the small-scaled and the fierce snake. The inland taipan. Yes, of the four surviving species of mamba, the black mamba is probably the best known. What predominant colour are the other three? Green. Yep. What name's given to the scale on the tip of the snout that borders the mouth opening of all snakes? The rostral. Yep. Which African snake is thought to have the largest eyes relative to the size of its head of 
any of the species and takes its name from the Afrikaans word for tree snake. Boom slang. Yep. What alphanumeric name is given to the test used to compare venoms by their killing capacity? It's defined as the amount of venom needed to kill half a group of test subjects within a specified time period. The LD50. Is correct. What common name is given to the American pit viper or water moccasin? The name refers to the white interior of its jaws. The cotton mouth. Yep, the witch snake is the only one known to construct a nest for egg incubation and then remain to guard the eggs. It's also the world's longest venomous snake. The king cobra. Yes, what is the name of the genus that contains Afro-Asian cobras? It is a Latinization of the Sanskrit word for snake. Naja. Yep. Death adders are the only species of the Alapidae family of snakes to use a particular tail movement to attract prey when they hunt. What's it called? Caudal luring. Yes. The internal organs of venomous snakes include an enlarged right lung with the left much reduced and a heart that consists of how many chambers? Four. Three. The East and West African species of an ambush viper possess the longest fangs of any known snake. Which viper? The Gaboon Viper. Yep. What Pacific Island country gives its name to the species of burrowing snake, also known locally as the bolo? Uh, Solomon Islands. Fiji. Snake venoms may contain various poisonous substances, such as neurotoxin and myotoxins. What name is given to the toxins that directly target the kidneys? Nephrotoxin. Yes. What species of snake, closely related to the spitting cobra, is the only alapid in Africa to bear live young and is known to defend itself by pretending to be dead? The Rinkals. Yeah. Which 18th century Scottish physician gives his name to the only truly Asian species of Old World viper? He was employed as a naturalist for the East India Company where he conducted detailed studies of Indian snakes. Russell. Yeah. Patrick Russell. No passes, Tim. You have 13 points. Thank okay. you. Next contender, please. And your name is? Charlie Hastad. Your occupation? Student. And your chosen subject? Sherlock Holmes. Two minutes on Sherlock Holmes starting now. In The Adventure of the Crooked Man, when Holmes explains how he deduced that Watson must have had a busy day, Watson cries, excellent. What is Holmes' reply? Elementary. Yes. Which story in The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes introduces the brilliant Irene Adler, whom Holmes refers to as the woman? Scandal in Bohemia. Correct. What is the name of the mutual acquaintance who introduces Dr Watson to Holmes? He describes Holmes as a little queer in his ideas. Stanford. Yep. Sherlock's brother, Mycroft, belongs to a Pall Mall club whose members are the most unsociable and unclubbable men in town. Which club? Diogenes. Yep, but what battle in the Second Afghan War was Dr Watson shot in the shoulder? He almost died of a fever and was discharged back to England. My lamb. Yep, what name is given to the jewel that belonged to the Countess of Morcar that is found in the crop of a Christmas goose? Blue carbuncle. Yep, in The Return of Sherlock Holmes, Holmes reappears after he has faked his death. When he first approaches Watson, he is disguised as a seller of what? Books. Yes, in The Adventure of the Blanched Soldier, what single word does Holmes write on a scrap of paper that he hands to Colonel Emsworth? It concerns Emsworth's son, Godfrey. Leprosy? Yes. In The Hound of the Baskervilles, Holmes solves two cases on his return to London from Baskerville Hall. One is the supposed murder of Mademoiselle Carrère and the other concerns the atrocious conduct of whom? Pass. What was the name of the ship that was the subject of the case that Holmes described as the first in which I was ever engaged? Uh, Gloria Scott. Yes. Who's described by Holmes in the Valley of Fear as the controlling brain of the underworld, a brain which might have made or marred the destiny of nations? Professor Moriarty. Yes. Watson finds Holmes working undercover in the Bar of Gold on Upper Swandham Lane. What type of establishment is the Bar of Gold? Opium Dam. Yep. What is the name of the street urchin described by Watson as a disreputable little scarecrow who leads the gang known to Holmes as the Baker Street Irregulars? Wiggins. Yep. Which of the Holmes stories is divided into two parts entitled The Singular Experience of Mr John Scott Eccles and The Tiger of San Pedro? Wisteria Lodge. Wisteria Lodge is correct. You had one pass. In The Hound of the Baskervilles, one of the two cases concerned the atrocious conduct of Colonel Upwood. Ah. However, Charlie, you have 13 points. <laughs> And our final contender, please. And your name is? Alfred Williams. Your occupation? Assistant curator. And your chosen subject? The life and times of Alfred the Great. 
Alfred the Great. Here we go. Alfred the Great was an English king of the Anglo-Saxon period. When Alfred visited Rome as a child in 853, which pope received him and gave him a blessing? Leo IV. Yes, what was the name of Alfred's brother and immediate predecessor as the King of Wessex? He defeated an invading Viking army with Alfred at the Battle of Ashdown. Ethelred. Yes, what name did Alfred use to replace that of Lady Philosophy in his translation of the 6th century Roman Beatrice's Consolation of Philosophy? Wisdom. Yep. From which Frankish monastery did Alfred recruit the scholarly Grimbald to serve as his mass priest and to aid in his programme of education? saint Bertin. Yep. Alfred specifically acknowledged that he inherited parts of his written code of laws from a king of Wessex who was born in the 7th century. What was the king's name? Ina. Yep. At which Dorset town did Alfred found a nunnery where his daughter, Athol Yevu, became an abbess? Shaftesbury. Yep. At which battle in Wiltshire did Alfred have a decisive victory over the Vikings in the year 878? Eddington. Yes. Which document is a survey of Alfred's military fortifications and demonstrates how his plan for a defensive system of new towns was put into effect? The Yes. What Roman road was used as the northern part of the dividing line between the lands of Alfred and the Viking leader Guthrum? Watling Street. Yes. Which museum holds the relic known as the Alfred Jewel? Yes. The purpose of the object is disputed, although it's thought to have been used as a pointer. The Ashmolean. Yes. What was the name of the commander of the Viking fleet that entered the estuary of the Thames and built fortifications at Milton Regis in 892? Haston. Yes. What legendary story about Alfred first appears in the life of St Neot roughly a century after the king's death? The cake. Yeah, the bunny of the cakes. Who was the Bishop of Worcester who translated the dialogues of Pope Gregory the Great? Alfred supplied a preface to one of the copies. Warforth. Yes, but what place did Alfred read his father's will to an assembly to justify his allocation of estates to the children of his brother, Ethelred? Langendeen. Yes, what is the name of the puppet king of Mercia who collaborated with Alfred to introduce the coins known as the cross and lozenge and the two emperors? Caelwulf II. Is correct. Fifteen questions, fifteen correct answers. Well done. <laughs> So that is the end of that round. Some very high scores. Let's have a look at them all. In fourth place, seven points. Chris, joint second place, 13 points apiece. Tim and Charlie, first place, 15 points. Alfred. <laughs> so it is the general knowledge round now. And if there's a tie at the end of it, then the number of passes is taken into account and the person with the fewer passes is the winner. And if they are tied on passes as well, there will be a tie break. So let us start the next round and ask Chris to join us again, please. And uh, you picked a subject with an awful lot of episodes and yeah. an awful lot of detail, but you got seven points. Here we go. Two and a half minutes. General knowledge starting now. Pitcher, batter, and home runner, terms used in which sport? Baseball. Yep. Which European dictator who had ruled his country since 1939 died in November 1975 after a long illness? Franco. Yep. Who performed with the Eurythmics on their 1985 UK top 10 hit? Sisters are doing it for themselves. Cindy Lauper. Aretha Franklin. The French called the English Channel's junction with the North Sea the Pas de Calais. How is it known in English? Uh, the Bristol Channel. The Straits of Dover. Which football club did Jurgen Klopp lead to two successive Bundesliga titles in 2011 and 12 before he took over at Liverpool in October 2015? Borussia Dortmund. Yep. Which Prime Minister defended the devaluation of the pound in 1967 by claiming it does not mean that the pound here in Britain, in your pocket or purse or in your bank, has been devalued? Pass. In the 97 film Titanic, who plays Jack Dawson, a young drifter who wins a third-class passage on the doomed ship in a poker game? Leonardo DiCaprio. Yes. Which comedian and magician's catchphrase was just like that? Tom Cooper. Yep. Which schoolboy created by the author Frank Richards was nicknamed the Fat Owl of the Remove? Uh, Flash Thompson. Billy Bunter. Which television series about desection of MI5 is partly set in the organisation's headquarters at Thames House? It was first shown in 2002. Spooks. Yep. Whose masterpiece, The Massacre of the Innocents, was sold for a then British record of £49.5 million at Sotheby's in July 2002? Pablo Picasso. Rubens. In which British city are Central and Queen Street the two main railway termini? Glasgow. Yep. The English horn is a lower-pitched member of the oboe family. It's better known by what French name? Pass. The 18th century catalogue compiled by Charles Messier that is still referred to today, especially by amateurs, covers what branch of science? 
biology. Astronomy. The argali from Central Asia is the largest living wild species of which domesticated farm animal? Pass. What is the common British word for what Americans call a baby soother or pacifier? A dummy? Yeah. The chocolate cake Sacatort was created by the pastry cook Franz Sacher in 1832 and is a speciality of which city? Uh, Berlin. Vienna. Which comedian and actor wrote a book called Revolution, published in 2014, in which he berates the current political system and parties? Russell Brand. Yep. In Greek mythology, the god Poseidon and the Gorgon Medusa were the father and the mother of who or what? Pass. Which monarchy, an enclave entirely surrounded by South Africa, was a British protectorate known as Basutoland before it gained independence in 1966? Namibia. Lesotho. You had uh, four passes. Poseidon and Medusa were the father and mother of Pegasus, the winged horse. The Argali is the largest living wild species of the sheep family. The English horn, better known by the French name Cor Anglais, and the pound in your pocket hasn't been devalued, said Harold Wilson. Those four passes, Chris, you have scored 16 points. And now, Tim, again, please. And you start out with 13 points, Tim. Let's see how you do with your general knowledge. Two and a half minutes of it. Here we go. What is the name of the soul singer who had a posthumous hit in 1968 with The Dock of the Bay? Otis Redding. Yes. According to the book of Genesis, how many sons accompanied Noah on the ark? Three. Yep. What is the grammatical term for a word such as I or it that is used instead of a noun? Preposition. Personal pronoun. What is the name of the author who's best known for his novels about Tarzan, the lost son of an English nobleman? He also wrote the John Carter science fantasy stories. Edgar Rice Burroughs. Yes. Dabblers, which feed near the water's surface, and divers, which feed near to the bottom of lakes and rivers, are types of what waterfowl? Duck. Yep. In March 2003, Sophia Loren unveiled a bronze statue in Rieti of a woman holding a giant coin as a memorial to which currency? The franc. The lira. Which of the wives of Henry VIII was given a hereditary peerage in her own right when she was made Marcus of Pembroke in 1532? Catherine of Aragon. Anne Boleyn. What common term is used for water that does not readily form a lather with soap because of the presence of calcium and other dissolved substances? Hard water. Yep. Diane James stood down as leader of which political party in October 2016, just 18 days after her election? UKIP. Yes, which 1954 film musical starring Howard Keel and Jane Powell features the songs Bless Your Beautiful Hide and Spring, Spring, Spring? Oklahoma. Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. Which Welsh international footballer received a record number of yellow cards in the Premier League before going on to become a radio and television pundit? Robbie Savage. Yep. What is the zodiac sign of a leap year baby born on the 29th of February? Pisces. Yes. Who had his first military success as commander of artillery at the Siege of Toulon in December 1793? Uh, Duke of Wellington. Napoleon. Which river is famed for its connection with Isaac Walton and forms much of the boundary between Derbyshire and Staffordshire? Uh, is it the turn? The dove. That Woman by Anne Sebert is a 2011 biography of an American divorcee who married into the royal family. Which divorcee? Wallace Simpson. Yeah, Duchess of Windsor. What traditional topping for a Simnel cake is also widely used beneath the royal icing on a Christmas cake? Cinnamon. Marzipan. In which 1960s children's television series was the Earth defended by a security organisation called Spectrum? Stingray. Captain Scarlet. What is the name of the blind Spanish composer whose best-known work is the Concerto de Aranjuez for guitar and orchestra, first performed in 1940? Segovia. Rodrigo. What virtually identical name is shared by the currency units of Denmark, Norway and Sweden? The Krona. The Krona or the Krea. Krona and Krona. One ends in E, one ends in A. Tim, you now have a total of 23 points. Thank you. And now Charlie again, please. And Charlie, you start out with 13 points as well. And 23 is, as we speak, the score to beat. Two and a half minutes of general knowledge starting now. What is the city in the television series Sex and the City? New York. Yep. The picture entitled Anatomy Lesson of Dr Tulp was painted in 1632 by which Dutch artist? 
Vermeer. Rembrandt. What name is given to a sweet pancake served with an orange sauce and flambéed with liqueur or brandy? Crepes is up. Yes. Which chemical element has the atomic number one? Hydrogen. Yes. What rodent that suffered a severe decline in Britain is often wrongly called a water rat? Ratty in the wind of the willows is a member of the species. Vole. Yes, water vole. What stately home in North Yorkshire was designed by Van Burra and Hawksmoor and doubled as the ancestral home in the television version of Brideshead Revisited? Pass. In the words of the proverb, many brave men lived before which mythological Greek king? Pass. What is the title of Anita Lou's 1920s debut novel that was made into a musical and later a film starring Marilyn Monroe and Jane Russell? Oh. Gentlemen prefer bond. Yes. Mech Vanin is a political party formed in 1962 that campaigns for independence for which of the British Isles? Uh, the Isle of Man. Yeah. What is the name of the writer and actor who has created American television series such as The Cleveland Show, Family Guy and American Dad? Oh, uh, pass. Who was the first actor to play Inspector Clouseau in the Pink Panther films? Uh, Peter Sellers. Yes. The Zugspitze that rises to 9,718 feet is the highest mountain in which country? Germany. Yep. The snooker world champion Ray Reardon, the ice skater Christopher Dean and the football referee Howard Webb all previously had what occupation? Teachers. Police officers. Which businessman bought the Daily Mirror and its sister newspapers in July 1984? Uh, Rupert Murdoch. Robert Maxwell. Which X Factor winner had a Christmas number one single in 2008 with a cover of Leonard Cohen's Hallelujah? Uh, uh, Leona Lewis. Alexander Burke. The German pocket battleship Graf Spee was scuttled by her captain outside a port in December 1939 because he thought that a superior British naval force was out there waiting. Which port? Uh, pass. What event in Manchester in 1819 is the subject of Shelley's poem, The Mask of Anarchy? Uh, Peterloo Massacre? Yes. Which Austrian composer's 1816 Symphony No. 4 in C minor did he himself call the tragic symphony? Mozart. Schubert. In Greek myth, which nocturnal bird was considered sacred to Athena, the goddess of war? The owl. The owl is correct. You had four passes. Montevideo. That's where the Graf Spee was. Seth MacFarlane was the writer and actor who created all those television shows. Many brave men lived before Agamemnon. Mm. And Castle Howard was that stately home in North Yorkshire, as you knew. Yeah. Four passes there, Charlie. You have now 23 points. <laughs> <laughs> And finally, Alfred again, please. And uh, you start out with a substantial 15 points, Alfred. Yeah. But you've got to beat 23 with your general <laughs> knowledge. So let's see if you can do it and get through to the semi-finals. Here we go. What term for a puppet worked by strings is derived from a diminutive of the French name Marie? Marionette. Yep. Which Australian golfer won the British Open in 1986 and again in 93? Pass. Which apostle is the patron saint of artists, brewers, butchers and doctors, among Luke. others? Luke. Yep. The name of which fine netting fabric, typically used for wedding dresses and ballet tutus, comes from the town in France where it was originally made? Sheen. Tulle. The key elements of an ancient monument are the blue stones from the Preseli Mountains in Wales and the sarsen stones from the nearby Marlborough Downs. Which monument? Stonehenge. Yep. Which railway tunnel that opened in 1906 and runs from Brig in Switzerland to Isel in Italy was for many years the world's longest railway tunnel? Mont Blanc. Simplon. Or Samplon. Which group of islands lying around 130 miles northeast of Scotland give their name to a breed of small pony? Shetland. Yep. In what 2004 film directed by Roland Emmerich and starring Dennis Quaid and Jake Gyllenhaal is the world devastated by climatic disasters. Day after tomorrow. Yep, the Grand Canyon, Marble Canyon and Glen Canyon are features on which river? Colorado. Yep, which record by the Shangri-Las about a biker boyfriend has reached the UK singles charts in 65, 72 and 76? Ah, oh, pass. What name did Thomas Edison give to the sound recording apparatus, a forerunner of the gramophone that he patented in 1877? The name continues to be used in America. Phonograph. Yeah. Morello or Montmorency are sour varieties of which fruit? Cherry. Yes. The illness pleurisy is an inflammation of the membranes that enclose which organs of the body? Lungs. Yeah. Which writer wrote the plays Noises Off, Copenhagen and Democracy? He was married to the biographer and critic Claire Tomalin. Michael Frayne. Yes. In May 1973, who described the practices of the mining company Lonro as the unpleasant and unacceptable face of capitalism? Pass. 
What pseudonym did the English mathematician Charles Ludwig Dodson adopt when he wrote his Alice books? Lewis Carroll. Yep. Dreams of a Winter Journey and Land of Desolation, Land of Mists are the subtitles of the first two movements of which Russian composer's first symphony? Scriabin. Tchaikovsky. What word was used for the part of an Ottoman household reserved for wives, concubines or female servants and comes from the Arabic for forbidden? Harim. Yes. In the television cartoon series The Flintstones, what is the name of Fred Flintstone's pet dinosaur? Dino. Yep. The People's Liberation Army, which can trace its roots back to the communist uprising of 1927, is the unified land, sea and air force of which country? China. Yep. Of which American state is Little Rock the capital? Arkansas. Correct. Which celebrated Italian conductor who died in New York City in 1957 at the age of nearly 90 defied Mussolini by refusing to conduct Giovannezza, the official hymn of the Italian fascist party. Uh, Toscanini. Is correct. Three passes. Ted Heath talked about the unacceptable face of capitalism. That record by Shangri La was about leader of the pack and Greg Norman was the golfer. You have scored a total, Alfred, a whopping total of 31 points. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> well, what a round. Let's have a look at all of the scores. In fourth place with 16 points, Chris, joint second place, 23 points. Tim and Charlie, not bad scores, those two, but in first place, 31 points, Alfred. <laughs> Which means, obviously, that Alfred is tonight's winner and he goes through to the semi-finals. Congratulations to him. And if you would like to be a contender in the next series, you don't have to score 31 points, do go to our website, bbc.co.uk stroke mastermind, and you can follow us on Twitter at Mastermind Quiz. And do join us again next time for more masterminds. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.